100 years in prison. That is the sentence handed down to a Boulder County woman today for cutting an unborn baby out of another woman and attempting to claim the child as her own. But prosecutors told the judge whatever time Danelle Lane spends in prison pales in comparison to the pain and suffering she caused. Bart Betzel is live in studio, and Bart, clearly one of the more horrific crimes our state has ever seen. Heather, absolutely. This all began with an ad Danelle Lane posted on Craigslist offering to sell baby clothes. Michelle Wilkins responded and went to Lane's home unaware she was about to be brutally attacked. Tell me what happened. She cut me. Who cut you? Downstairs. I don't know. Okay, hold on. 13 months after Michelle Wilkins made that call from Danelle Lane's basement. Guilty. And two months after she was convicted by a jury, Lane is sentenced to prison for the rest of her life. In court this week, the victim, Michelle Wilkins, said she hopes Lane can change. It is clear that you need healing, and it is my sincere belief that you get it. But prosecutors told the judge she has yet to show any regret. Miss Lane has exhibited not the least bit of remorse. She snapped. She had to have snapped. There's something, something went wrong there. Anna Mae Langdon was Lane's neighbor when she lived in Pueblo. Michael Lane of Pueblo is her father-in-law. She was just real quiet, never said much, but there was never any sign that she would be capable of something like this. A tragedy in Pueblo, however, could have played a role. In 2002, Lane's nearly two-year-old son drowned. It was ruled an accident. The victim in this case, Aurora, was a month from being born when she was killed. And because she wasn't born, Lane was not charged with murder. Lane's father-in-law wanted more. I think we have to apply the murder charge here. Following the punishment, Lane's attorney said they plan to appeal. Shortly after the crime in Longmont, lawmakers tried to pass a bill making killing a fetus a murder, but it didn't pass because opponents worried it could be applied to abortions. Bart Bedsell, KRDO News Channel 13.